Welcome back. Green flag about to come out as we're closing in on 50 laps of racing to go from Langley Speedway. Sergio Pena, Max Gresham, one and two. Gresham spins the tires. That allows De Benedetto to move to the inside in the battle for second. Matt spun the tires as well, but he's able to get to the bottom of Max Gresham. Dead even going in three. Those two battle for the second spot. Chase Elliott's moved up into the fourth position ahead of Alex Bowman. Max Gresham able to get out in front of Matt DiBenedetto from the outside. Corilla Joy now has moved uh, up in front of the 14 of Coleman Presley. Now he's right behind the 16 of Alex Bowman. Those two running sixth and seventh. DJ Shaw back there in the eighth spot and 37. Good side by side racing. That's Chad both the 98, Michael Cherry in the eighth. There's Eddie McDonald in the 71, Andrew Smith, and there's Brett Moffitt. Brett now, Brett Moffitt is in position if the caution flag were to come out to get the lucky dog, and that would put him back on the lead lap. That strong would, race car, Rick. Yeah, that would be amazing if he's able to do that after a strong start. Actually, started this race in the eighth position, but a cut tire put him two laps down early on. But he has been very strong running through the field and not getting lapped by our leaders. Right now, he's just hoping. You can see he's running in the 17th spot, one lap down. He, there's a caution flag. That's what he needed right there. Caution comes out. Julian Alboracen is around. The 64 of Rick Godovic is around. And so what we were talking about, Brett Moffitt needing a caution, it happens on cue. And there he goes right there. There's the lucky dog that will put him back on the lead lap. Now, obviously, he will not have very good track position. He really needs another caution to get the good track position where he can pull up right behind the guys on the lead lap. So Brett Moffitt will make his way around, gets back on the lead lap, and I believe could be a contender for this one. He's had a strong race car. Yeah, we have 44 laps to go here, so that's certainly not out of the question. Field all back in line. Sergio Pena on the inside. On the outside, Max Gresham. Green flag back in the air. A great restart for DiBenedetto on the inside. And he's going to take second away from Gresham. Saw Max Gresham get a little bit sideways here. These worn tires, it's really hard to get some grip, especially on these restarts. How about Coleman on the inside? Making it three wide. Coleman Presley trying to take the spot. Sergio Pena out in front. The battle for second continues. The Benedetto on the inside of Max Gresham in a battle for second. Gresham on the outside holding strong. The Benedetto on the inside. It's those left tires just inside the yellow line. Looking for grip, but it's Gresham on the outside who surges in front of Matt Benedetto. Max has a strong car. He's been able to make the outside. And when we talk about the outside, it's really the bottom groove of the racetrack. <laughs> the inside now is the apron of the racetrack. Guys running down there below the yellow line. And they continue to battle for that second spot. And around goes the 97 of Tanner Berryhill once again. So that is another good opportunity for Brett Moffitt. That's exactly what Brett Moffitt needs. He'll be able to line up with all the lead lap cars now. You're watching the k and Pro Series East here on Speed. Back to Langley Speedway here in Hampton, Virginia. Beautiful evening for racing. Brett Moffitt back on the lead lap and currently in the 11th spot. Looking very strong, Phil. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago we showed him in the 17th spot one lap down, but uh, he has a shot at getting back certainly up into the top 10, if not even more. Sergio Pena, Max Gresham, Matt Benedetto, your top three. Chase Elliott on the outside of row number two. Green flag back in the air. Ooh, a little bit of contact. Sergio wiggled the tail a little bit, ran into the 18 of Max Gresham. Side by side for second. De Benedetto on the inside. Gresham on the outside. We've seen this before. We can tell these cars have a lot of laps on them. These tires have a lot of laps on them. Everybody now, where they were driving straight off the corner, now they're fish tailing this. Things getting a little bit sideways up off the corner when they try to get the power down. That forward bite has gone away. Look at this. Brett Moffitt on the inside of three wide. He's got Darrell Wallace Jr. on his outside now as Corey LaJoy drops back. That puts him all the way up to the seventh spot. He's if he's able to get by the six of Darrell Wallace Jr. Brett Moffitt, man on a mission, trying to make his way back from being two laps down at the start of this race. What a great comeback. If he could somehow get into the top five, it would be an amazing comeback for him. Successful day as he now sets his sights on the 14 of Coleman Presley. Coleman Presley trying to get by that 16 of Alex Bowman. That's a battle for the fifth spot. Alex Bowman, the 16, has it. Coleman's in sixth. And there's Brett Moffitt in seventh. Coleman Presley. Running that low line all the way down into the grass, trying to figure out a way to get by Alex Bowman. 
Here's De Benedetto pulls up a side of Max Gresham once again in a battle for second. Benedetto trying to find some grip around this racetrack late in the going. Max Gresham back out in front though. Matt De Benedetto running in the third spot. Sergio Pena leading this field around Langley Speedway. How about Brett Moffat now he's taken over the sixth spot from Coleman Presley. Did it on the outside too, Phil. Strong, strong move there. That boy has been on a mission now. What a great season. He's the only driver we have that has won more than once. He's won twice in the six races. Went to victory lane early first race of the season. Greenville Pickens and then Iowa got his second victory and now has moved up into the top six. And opens up three or four car links on the 14 car of Coleman Presley. Alex Bowman now holds down that fifth spot. He's next for Brett Moffitt. See Corey LaJoy trying to catch up to Darrell Wallace Jr. had a great runner-ups position at Bowman Gray just a couple of races ago that tied his career best in the series. He did that at Dover also last year. Still battling in the top 10 as we see our top four. Sergio Pena, Max Gresham, Matt Benedetto, and Chase Elliott. And Chase has actually moved in on that battle for a second between Gresham and Benedetto. Good solid run for Chase. To get into the top five, can Brett Moffitt make the pass on the 16 of Alex Bowman? To the inside of Bowman he goes. Well, he just turned underneath him. A little bit of contact, slight contact that time up off the corner. I think Brett has the position. This time, he's able to get by. Alex Bowman takes the top five. Now, battle for second continues. De Benedetto on the inside, Gresham on the outside. Well, this battle just won't quit. Matt to Benedetto doing all he can do to try to get that second spot away from the 18 of Max Gresham. Laps are winding down. Battle for second continues. Just 15 to go as we see De Benedetto get by Gresham for second. Great move by Matt De Benedetto. He used a little bit more of the race, a little bit of contact. More contact. Gresham gets into the back and Benedetto takes the spot back away. Here comes Chase Elliott. You see a little bit of damage to the left front fender of the 15 car of De Benedetto that allows Brett Moffitt now to pull up beside him. Brett Moffitt battling to get into the top four now as Chase Elliott's in front of him. A lot of smoke from De Benedetto's car from that tire rub. Gresham holding on to second. Third, Chase Elliott. Now the battle on the inside. Here comes Moffitt for the third spot. He'll take it away. He's got it. What a great comeback. You see the damage to De Benedetto's left front fender. De Benedetto after running in the second spot, a little bit of contact. He and Max Gresham, Chase Elliott. De Benedetto's dropping back. Elliott Moffitt chasing after Max Gresham now. Well, that's a lot of tire smoke. I hope that tire lasts. A lot of smoke coming out of the left side of that 15. Laps continue to wind down. Will the tire hang on long enough? Battle for second. Here comes Moffitt. Look into the inside of Max Gresham. What an incredible car that double zero is. We haven't seen him that much because he went down two laps on lap number three. But man, does he have a strong car. Battle for second continues. Moffitt is going to take the position away from Gresham. Can Moffitt come back and catch Sergio Pena and win this race? He's able to clear the 18. They were teammates last year at Joe Gibbs Racing. Brett moved over to MWR. Mike Grichi and the boys, what a great season they've had. Looking to make it three championships in a row for the double zero, two with Ryan Truex. Now, Brett Moffitt wants a championship of his own. And what a performance he has put on here at Langley Speedway after being two laps down to start this race with a cut tire. He's battled back to second now and is reeling in Sergio Pena. You don't think he's trying hard. He was completely sideways up off of turn four that last time. Moffat making his way up. Trying to reel in the four of Pena, but the laps continue to wind down. Will there be enough time? See, De Benedetto gets to the inside of the nine of Chase Elliott. That's a battle for the fourth spot. De Benedetto able to take the spot back from Chase Elliott. The smoke looks like it's going down just a little bit, but will the tire hang on? Matt may be smoking there in, inside of the helmet, though. We saw a lot of contact between the 15 of De Benedetto and the 18 of Max Gresham. 
fuming probably is Matt Benedetto as he's continuing to try to work back up and maybe catch up with that 18 of Max Gresham. Five laps of racing to go. Brett, Mo Brett Moffitt moving by Julian Aberration in the 12 car. Julian a lap down car. So Moffitt trying to get no gap between he and race leader Sergio Pena. Four laps of racing to go. You see Sergio, he's about eight car lengths ahead of Brett Moffitt. Don't know if there's going to be enough time. Lap cars could come into play. They're clicking off laps at around 17 seconds a lap. So the time winding down, three laps of racing to go for Sergio Pena. Could he become the second racer to win two races this season? See lap cars running side by side right in front of Sergio. I'm not sure Brett's going to have enough time, though. Brett Moffat this time by two laps of racing. Out in front, Sergio Pena. His last win and first win came earlier this year right here in Virginia at South Boston. Can he make it two in his home state? Coming out of turn number four. White flag goes in the air. One lap to go for Sergio Pena. I think he's got it. He can negotiate this last half a lap. Brett Moffat's a little bit too far back. Expectations have been high for Sergio Pena for two years, and he will go to victory lane at Langley. Congratulations, Sergio Pena. What a smart race. It looked like through the middle portion of the race that he saved his tires, and when he needed them at the end, he had them. Sergio Pena may have gotten lucky that this race was only 175 laps. Brett Moffat, very impressive. Sergio Pena able to celebrate once again his second career win in the K&N Pro Series East. Let's hear from him. He's made it to victory lane. He's with Derek Bernasiglia. Derek. Earlier this week on Facebook, Sergio Pena said, I need some luck to turn my season around, and he got it here tonight at Langley Speedway. He picks up his second win of the 2011 season. Sergio, come on in here, buddy. We got to talk to you. You said you needed some luck earlier in the week on some of your social pages, and looks like you got it. Yeah, man, oh my gosh, thank you so much. You know, these the past three races, you know, uh, Iowa, Bowman Gray, and uh, Gresham, you know, we had some bad luck, but posted on my Facebook I needed some luck, and, you know, we got it tonight. We left most of the race, I believe, and, gosh, the car was so hooked up. I can't thank uh, Matt Ghostland enough, all the guys at Revolution Racing and the Drive for Diversity program. You know, they, they put this car together perfect. I mean, I couldn't ask for more, and, gosh, I, I, I can't thank them enough. Take a look at our unofficial results. Brett Moffitt, really the fastest car on the racetrack, coming from two laps down to finish second. Bill. Yeah, an incredible run for Brett Moffitt. Max Gresham, Matt DiBenedetto, and Chase Elliott round out the top five. We look back through the field. Julian Alvarez into the 12 car for this race. Finishes in the 19th position. So Ryan Gifford had some problems early, finishes in the 23rd spot. Let's go back to Derek Pernasigli. He's with second place Brett Moffitt. Brett Moffitt comes from two laps down, had to rally back from a flat tire, but how much were you up on the wheel tonight? Uh, harder than I've ever been. Uh, you know, the, the guys did an amazing job setting up the car, and, uh, you know, I'll take blame for this one. Um, I got a little bit too close to the two car and cut a left front tire, and we ended up going two laps down, and we got stuck there for a long portion of the race. So, uh, you know, with about 40 laps to go, we finally got back into position where we could make up some uh, points on the track, and, you know, we made the most of it. You know, the car was amazing, and I just drove to the front. Um, didn't make any friends on the way, but we ended up second, so it was a good day. Only 12 races in the season. We've completed seven, and Gresham out in front of DiBenedetto by 17 points with five races remaining. Yeah, still a great point battle. Darrell Wallace Jr. was our leader coming in here. He falls to third, 27 points behind. First visit to Langley Speedway for the K&N Pro Series East.